There was loads of anime merchandise and figures out there. And I'm a big collector of my figures. From prize figures to little tiny figures such as Chibi Masters. And now, my new obsession, that is, Q Posket. And here we have Tengen from Demon Slayer from the Entertainment District arc. So let's take a closer look at Tengen. Hello all, my name is Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And welcome to my obsession. That is Q Poskets. This is now figure number nine. And this is one of the ones I got from Waterstones. Waterstones had an amazing deal on, on their online website. And this was less than seven pound. So let's open this up. I'll build them all up and we'll take a closer look at Tengen. But just before we get to that, what do you think of Q Poskets? Do you have any Q Poskets yourself? If you do, let me know down in the comments below. And there we go. There we have Tengen. All nicely put together. Look at that look in his eyes. Look at that pose. He's like, yep, I'm the one. I'm awesome. And he is a pretty cool character. I say with Q Poskets, one of the things they get really, really right is them eyes. Them eyes look absolutely amazing. And it really does set off the figure itself. And of course, you've got at the back here, you've got his swords. There's a nice little, no, no, I'm not staring at his bum. I'm, maybe, maybe a little bit. But as you see, on his short swords, they're all nicely linked up together here on his back. And this is why this one came in three parts. It came in his head, his body, and the base. Sometimes the swords, especially from some of the Demon Slayer ones, come separate. And you've got to add them onto the carrot afterwards. But the level of detail here is pretty cool. Even down to all his bangles, it's got like an engraving going around it. Even right down there. Onto his bracelet as well. You can see all the extra engraving and everything into that. That is really cool. Nice little extra touch to detail. And of course, you've got like his headdress there, all encrusted jewels. And I'm not quite sure what kind of jewels they are in it, but he always has this kind of thing onto him. He's quite, he's quite a confident Hashira. Which is not surprising because he's essentially got three girlfriends or three wives. I can't remember which, which one it is, but he's definitely a confident kind of guy. Looking fully over it, paintwork and things like that. I've not seen any issues really with the paintwork. Don't really get many issues with the paintwork on the Q Poskets. I say the eyes are always the main feature, and I've never seen any issues at all with the eyes. Sometimes you get a little bit where you can see the bit of the mold line, and every so often you can make a little bit of speck paint here and there. But overall, these figures are absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the Q Poskets. The collection has grown. I'm getting quite obsessed, but hey, why the hell not? But let me know down in the comments below. Do you like Q Poskets? What do you think I should get next? Because there's definitely going to be more coming. And while you're down there, go on, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button and click the little bell icon to update you on upcoming videos because it's definitely going to be more Q Poskets. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.